Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hi guys, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, Hello! It's Thursday and that means that I do a rapid review. I do a review in 60 seconds of a book that I have recently read or one of my favorites or least favorites. If you are new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see every time these videos come through. If you've been here before, Welcome back and thank you for being here. I love each and every one of you. It's so fun to see all of the comments come through and um, what you guys are reading. It's been a blast. I am rolling into a full six months of being on booktube so I'm just thrilled to be here. But the book I have chosen for today, you may recognize from a recent readathon, I just fell in love with this book. I am going to be reviewing What Alice Forgot Today, and I'm thrilled. I loved this book. I will link the Dewey's Readathon uh, above so you can kind of see my thoughts on that or how I kind of read that. I, oh my gosh, I could not put this book down. I mean, it was nice that it was a readathon, so I kind of couldn't because I was like determined to get my pages in, but I just, I couldn't stop reading this book. It was so good. It was so good. So needless to say, I gave it five stars, but let's go ahead and start that timer and tell you a little bit more about what Alice forgot. We find the main character waking up on the gym floor. Her name is Alice. In her mind, it is 1998. She is pregnant with her first child and married to the love of her life, Nick. That's not the case. It's 2008. She's getting a divorce and she has three kids. Don't worry, none of that is a spoiler. You find that all out within the first couple of pages. So we find that some relationships are broken. There's a new man in her life and she has to be a mother like that. Seemingly, this looks like an opportunity to mend some relationships. The author gives us a really interesting way of learning about her sister, which I've never really seen before. We find out that Alice's mother marries her father-in-law. That's weird. That would make her and her husband stepbrother and sister. That's really weird. She slowly remembers things as certain things come into play, but they feel like dreams. Will she get her memory back? Will she save her marriage? It's for you to find out. So there you have it, guys. I loved this book. So definitely five stars when you have some time. This is my first experience with Leanne Moriarty. And if you have watched my past uh, book hauls, you know that I have picked up quite a few of her books along the way, just randomly because I was familiar with the name. I knew a lot of people were reading it. So I was like, hey, for a dollar or less, I'll pick up this book. If it's no good, I'll take it right back down to the thrift shop. So yeah, I'm excited to read more of her stuff. I am excited to find out if everything else is as good as this one. Tell me, have you read What Alice Forgot? Are you going to read What Alice Forgot? Don't forget what I've mentioned here <laughs> because it is a great book. So until next time, guys, I really hope that you are staying well and staying safe, taking care of yourselves and each other, and uh, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.